Welcome back everybody. Today we're going to be finishing off the train farm. I've already started by painting up our fruit catcher and the little delivery cart here. We might even rebuild this, I'm not sure. But in this episode, I was hoping to put up some defenses around our farm. And because we have such an efficient means of delivering fruit to the trader now, I was also going to make a gun wall because these are going to be very, very easy to get now. To do the defenses, I think I'm going to start with five guns. Each gun is about 32 blocks apart, so they should overlap each other's fire range in the middle by about eight blocks, which is quite a lot. I'm simply going to have three gun barrels on a gate and a sensor sitting directly on a bearing. There's nothing fancy about them at all. The sensor is going to connect to the gate, the gate is going to connect to all of the barrels, and then our trigger over here will connect up to everything as well. The trigger is just made by an OR gate, a NOR gate, and then connecting these up and you make a tick timer. I recommend setting it to one tick for best performance out of your guns. Then the OR gate simply connects to the logic gate. Now you have um, a trigger mechanism for your gun here. So every time we pass in front of this sensor, it will shoot us. I have to hook up some ammo because I haven't got any ammo connected. That's why it's not firing. And I need to put a controller down so that they will all revolve and then I think the five turrets can protect my entire gun wall along with the saw blades. I know the saw blades are half buried in the ground but that's okay they are not actually on bearings they're never gonna spin they will still scare the bots away they won't damage the bots but they'll still scare them away long enough for my guns to pick them off or at least that's what I hope. Well, now that I've got those set up, I think I might put one more gun at either end just to help defend everything and then we will hook up the ammo and we'll pretty much be ready to give this a test run, I think. We have a master switch over here to turn everything on and off so it's safe to work around our turrets, but when you hit... Oh, those two are shooting each other. I've got something wrong. Ah, sensor is not connected. Beautiful defenses. So now, when we are anywhere around this side, we should get dealt to. Okay, I've prettied up the farm a little bit, put in some lights, I've put some lights on the guns, but I think it's time for our first official test run. Before we do the crop and get everything going, I thought it might be a good idea just to spawn in a test raid. So we'll go with a nice easy raid here just to make sure everything is working. And then we will do a full plant and everything. Here they come. Let's get up to a better spot here. Well, the saw blades are keeping them back. Hey, how did you get over the wall? Alright, well, I think that works. Except for this one chap who got over the wall. I'm not quite sure how he did that. Is that because they can stand there? Ah, I see. Well, that's okay. Let's see if it happens again. I, I still feel pretty confident to go ahead and do the full plant. The big moment is upon us, guys. It's time to start the farm up for the first time in all of its glory. So I've got enough seeds in here to do two crops, which is enough to get us going. We can put more in once we've started. I'm just going to simulate the plant growth here. Activate those two sensors and start our one minute delay. I'll skip most of that for you guys And then we can actually watch the show begin Excellent. It's just about to start. Let's get rid of the concrete I'm really excited to have this turn on properly for the first time. I can't wait till we've done our first load to the trader 
Beautiful. What's it look like from back here? Stay away from the guns. And there it starts. Beautiful, it's coming up to the end now. Excellent. Now all we've got to do is wait for the raid and tomorrow to harvest it. Oh, our crops have just started to ripen. Plus, we've got 30 seconds to the raid, so I'm pretty sure we're going to have the attack and the farm going at the same time, which is going to be pretty good for our first demonstration, I think. 18 seconds. We've got about 30 seconds-ish until the farm starts moving. Let's jump back up here. Interesting. Where's our timer? Oh, and that's it. The raid begins. Here they come. Oh, another one got in. Yeah, the odd one gets over. Hmm. Got to sort that out. Oh, here comes the farm. Alright, well I know how to stop them from getting over. That's okay, that still worked really good. Oh no, we lost a couple, so we're not gonna get 12 crates. Oh, well at least we can only expect 11 crates now. That's annoying. But at least you guys can see it replanting now as it goes as well. Oh, I need to put more time on our harvest delay. We didn't harvest a couple of the ones at the end here. Oh, well, look at that. Our one minute isn't quite long enough. We need a little bit longer. Oh, well, it's not a perfect first run. We still need to make a slight adjustment, but that's okay. All in all, that still worked really well. I'm still happy with that. It's just a minor change on the timer to fix it. So now we've just got to wait for this to deliver the fruit. Here we are, coming up to the first stop. I'll skip the first three stops for you guys, because it's not going to unload anything. Oh, apparently we did have a couple of carrots in the chest. But, uh, but yeah, now it's just going to wait two minutes at each station to unload. It's just, we have tomatoes on board, which is the final station. So I'll save you guys six minutes of waiting around and just skip ahead to that one. Awesome, and now we should start, oh, stay where it, start unloading all of our lovely tomatoes. Beautiful. Let's go and wait for the crates now. So yeah, unfortunately, it's only going to be hopefully 11. I'm not sure how many plants were left behind, but we're not going to get the full 12 because we lost a few. Oh, that's the last one. That means... Oh, we only got 10, not 11. 10 and a bit... Cr yeah, 10 and a bit crates of tomato. Well, that's okay. We did miss a few. Now, we could just wait for another harvest, but I'm just going to take these 10 over to the trader. Perfect. Now, I just need to load the last crate. There we are. And the train is ready to go. We've only got our 10 crates. But that's okay. 
we're off. At this point, I should probably be honest and tell everyone that I haven't tidied up the rest of the track yet. So it's still the same as it was, not very pretty, but it still works just fine. So we're going to head over to the trader and unload. And not have to do anything except ride the train. What we got to do is go up the big hill now, through the cave, and we're done. This is probably the most efficient means I've ever come up with to move produce. The trucks and things I've built in the past are all pretty cheap, but this uses next to no power at all. It's great. Ah, the end is in sight. I wonder what's the time let's jump up here check our logbook two o'clock in the afternoon we'll make it back before dark no problem at all all right we are coming up to the trader station now I think I'm just gonna try and stand in the trailer for a bit of a better view and now we're on our 10 second timer and the train should depart and head back thanks automatic button I'm gonna take my seat for the trip home and I'll see you guys when we get there and here we are arriving back at the station with a whole three minutes to spare until the next raid which probably means our farm will start soon as well. All right, guys, at this point, I think I'm going to say thanks very much for watching. I hope you liked the train farm. I will let the final raid see us out, and I will catch you guys on the next video. That's what'll happen to your farm if you forget to put ammo in the container. Thanks for watching, guys.